Today, we're gonna be putting holes in doors so that you can put your hardware on your door. If your door didn't already come with holes pre-drilled, or if the hole that you have is smaller than the hole that you want for the hardware that you have. So Milwaukee makes this great jig right here, and it comes with two hole saws, everything you need to make the two holes in the door. Now the one thing it's not gonna come with it's gonna be chisels so that you can actually put the plate on the front. Now this Milwaukee jig is gonna have everything that you need to get your two holes put onto the door. This is a pocket door, but it works on uh, a regular swinging door as well, or a hung door, I don't know, whatever you call it. It will work on both. Um, and the one thing that won't come with this jig is chisels so that you can actually chisel out to put that plate on this front, this striking surface of the door. Now something I have to try out is this little um, Ryobi contraption here. So we're gonna be trying that to see how that works. And if it works well, we'll put a link in the description below. There will be a link to this as well. Um, and if it doesn't work well, then just use chisels because that'll also get the job done pretty easily. So first things first, this jig has these two lines on it right here. So. I already painted my door, but if you didn't paint your door already, what I would suggest is get the height that you need, that you want this to go, and then just draw a line across. That way, you just line the jig up with the line and then tighten it down. Another thing that's nice about this jig is that this hole um, for the middle here, it's self-centering, so as you move it, it will center itself. Um, it's plastic, so it's not 100%, so I still would mark the front of your door just to make sure that everything is aligned properly. So let's get our height marked, and then we'll put this jig on, and we'll start going. So I know that I wanna align my hardware with that, so that it is with the center of this rail right here, and I know my rail is about seven inches, so, so this is 33 and a quarter, so we'll go one, two, three and a half, plus a quarter, that makes sense. So I'm at 36 and three quarters, which is gonna be my height here. Now, if I take the jig and I'm gonna put it on the door. Oh, one really, really important aspect of this jig is that if you'll see here, see how that moves like that? So it's made for two and three eighths inch depth as well as two and three quarter inch depth. So depending on your hardware, that's gonna determine where the hole is gonna go. Yeah, so it looks like our kit is based on the instructions from my hardware. It's two and three eighths inches. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball that up, see if that aligns. Yes, that looks good. I had this from a previous job. I'll just put my channel locks on here and unscrew it. go. Now the larger hole saw, it comes with this plastic stop, if you can see that. And all that's trying to do, if you have more experience, you might know this, but with a hole saw on like a finished surface like this, you would never want your hole saw to go all the way through. You'd get tear out on the other side. So what they're trying to do and help you with is when you put this onto this drill bit here, you're trying to stop the hole saw from going all the way through the door. But you want this drill bit right here to go all the way through the door. And then what you'll do is once you hit this plastic stop, you'll take the drill out, you'll come around to the other side, put this drill bit into the hole that you made, and then finish from the other side. And you'll get a nice clean hole on both sides. So make sure that you are square, um, that you're perpendicular to the door in both directions. You might be able to see here, I have caught Looks like the jig a couple times with the hole saw, but just try to make sure that you're as straight as you possibly can be. And that looks pretty good. All right. All right. So you can see how far we got in there. And now, if we go over to the other side, you'll see that there's a hole poking through. That hole right there. And that's how we're gonna finish the door. 
we're just gonna align the drill bit with that hole. Make sure we're square. And look at that. Nice, clean hole on both sides. Pretty easy. So you can see where we matched up, where that little line is right there. Pretty good. Okay, so now we're gonna change the hole saw to the one inch hole saw down from this one, which is two and an eighth inch here. And I will say, buying these hole saws by themselves, you'd probably be spending 15, 20 bucks anyway. So adding another 10 in there, not bad. So let's make sure that we are centered here. So let's check. I'm using the Craig Jig, or I guess the Craig. I'm using the Craig Multimark tool. So I know that my door is one and three eighths inches thick. So we're gonna settle that up with half inch plus three sixteenths. That looks good on the top. Half inch plus three sixteenths. Pretty good. Okay, so just be careful with the hole saw again making sure that you are going in perpendicular to the door, nice and square, go straight in. Take your time, no rush. That looks good there. Now, something I've noticed is that I guess the material of my door the, uh, the sawdust will get pretty built up on the teeth of this hole saw. So I usually have to back out, clean it off a little bit, and then keep going. Nothing major. There we go. I was probably pressing a little too hard. <laughs> now let's do a check. We've got both of our holes. Looks good. Let's just dry fit our hardware. Real quick, this side up. That goes in there. This is gonna go like this. Pretty good. Now, okay, so this plate now is proud, as you can see. So normally we would just chisel that out I'm gonna try this little Ryobi tool, see if, it, uh, see if it actually works. So my corners are rounded. It has a rounded chisel in here. And so what you do is you set this little fence right here. It's either one and three quarter inches thick or one and three eighths. So mine is one and three eighths. And you slide this in and then you will, let me take this down. You'll use that as like a fence up against the door. You will put this piece into the hole and then you actually just bang this in with a hammer which sets this chisel down into the wood to give you a mark that would be like the outline of that plate. And then you come back with this guy, set it in, hammer it down, hammer it up, and it should leave a nice chiseled out area for that plate to go. So we're gonna test this out see how it goes all right so the next thing you're supposed to do is with this little chisel on the front if you have a rounded plate then you put the rounded side up and if you have a square plate then you put the square side up you put that into the hole and then you press against the door and hammer downwards let's see we do that's pretty good let's I'm not gonna like break that wood out with that tool I'm gonna come back with an actual chisel if I still have to come back with the chisel is it worth it maybe to get you started 
but I don't know. And against all odds, that may actually work. I will have to touch this part of the door up, which is not, that's not the tool's fault. That's this door. I highly recommend this Milwaukee jig for putting holes into doors. It is very easy, takes the guesswork out of it, and it's relatively affordable. So if you're about to try to put holes in your door for your hardware, go out there, snag one. There'll be links in the description below. Milwaukee. Definitely thumbs up this Ryobi thing. I don't know. If you really don't know how to use chisels, this might at least get you started. But I don't think this is ready for prime time. Thank you so much for watching Break It Yourself. As always, don't forget to thumbs me up. But the most important thing that you can do to help me out is to share this video. So if you know somebody who is trying to install some hardware or needs to drill holes in doors, let them know, please. We will see you next time.